<clears throat> we're a month away from turkey season, but I have another product review to do. Uh, I've done one back during bow season, uh, and I did a small uh, review of it again, using it during bow season in the field. But the company Talk Pod had asked me to do another review of their A36 Plus GMRS radio. This one is an upgrade from the earlier one. Uh, it has a color screen and um, has uh, 8 watt transmit power. So they sent one, they sent two. And we're going to go through the review of these real quick. The radio comes with a set of uh, instructions, this little slim sheet of paper. On both sides has all the frequencies on it, uh, shows the functions of the radios and all the menus. And, you know, so hopefully you got good eyesight because the print is awfully small. It also comes with a programming cable that hooks in where a speaker microphone would go. And this is so you can program it with uh, Chirp software, which I mentioned in the earlier review back uh, in the fall last year. Comes with a battery. And what is really nice about these batteries is it's rechargeable by a USB-C charging cable, which they include. So you can charge this from a cigarette lighter plug in your vehicle. You can charge it with, uh, I had one laying around here, uh, one of these. <clears throat> but it also comes with a desk charger. Plugs into 110. Comes with a rubber duck antenna. This radio is green. There's the belt clip that goes on it. it they provide you with the wall charger to plug into the USB-C cord comes with a lanyard that you hook through the slot at the back of the radio right here. Okay? I never use those. And that's it. So, always, whenever you're going to use one of these, the first thing you want to do, even before you put the battery on, is put that antenna on. Then the battery pack you have two little notches here. The battery pack has two notches. You put that in and you snap it in place. And then like I said, the belt clip goes on. Right there. There's the belt clip. And to take the battery off, there's two little notches here and here. Push down, pull out. Now these uh, multi-function dual band, air band walkie talkie, uh, 836 plus, looks like it says M1, gives you the transmit and receive frequency, has FCC ID, so these are FCC acceptable. Put the battery on and we'll take the film off the screen. Sorry about that folks. I thought I quieted it. There we go. Yeah, I guess the 
was much film on that screen. But turn it on. 8.3 volts. It talks to you right now. Now you can program that out. And this says channel one. This is your main uh, memory. It's in memory mode here. Here it's in VFO mode. You can switch and it has a timeout on the screen. Doesn't mean it went off, it's just a timeout on the screen. Uh, you can change any key will cause it to come back on. You can change from A to B just by pushing that. The way it comes from the factory uh, it had the frequency here and I got into the menu and changed it to show the channel. Channel 1 2 3 and I haven't turned the voice off. 4 5 6 7 8 and it goes through all 22. 3 2 1 and then you see it says 30 from 23 to 30 are the repeater GMRS frequencies. And again, to operate these, you need the GMRS license. It's, uh, I'm trying to remember what the cost was. I just got mine back in January. Um, it's good for 10 years. I can't remember what the price was. I'll put it down in the description. Um, even provide a link to the FCC so you can see about getting it. Uh, here you can go into your memories. They show up down here. And then you can scroll through the memories. Uh, or you can put in the memory number. Like 22. And I'm going to go here and change this back to frequency instead of channel. And let's see. Go up to that. Hit OK. Now it's in frequency. And then when I exit, there it shows the frequency for that channel. But the channel is over here in the very right hand side of the screen. Uh, it will transmit, but this one comes in green. I think it comes in three colors black, green, and a silver, I believe. Uh, when this one is on, mode. this is your push to talk for. The main uh, um, VFO A, VFO B. This push to talk is for VFO A. And if you switch to VFO B by pressing the A B, okay, we're down here. Now it's not in the memory mode, it's in VFO mode. That means I can actually change the frequencies. Where up here, when I change, it's changing channel. And see, it's telling you it's what channel you're on. Down here, on, on the B slot, if you change, you don't hear nothing because you're changing frequencies. But in VFO A says A transmit because you're transmitting there. If you go to B, you don't hit this push to talk. This is the push to talk for B. And you see it says B transmit. Okay. Um, it does have FM radio. Of course, in here I can't. So there's a FM mode. Uh, the weather channels are supposed to be in here, but I can't remember how to get to them. Uh, there is a key function or something to get me there, but I can't remember which one it is. I'll have to look it up in the manual. But that's that one with all of its accessories. And this one is the same radio, same stuff instructions programming cable oh, I didn't show you this is where your speaker mic goes in is on this side this cable will plug into your computer and plug into here and then you turn the radio on run the chirp software and you can program it but this one here of course has the battery here's the radio 
same radio in black. Like I said, these are eight watts. The desk charger, the wall charger, your antenna, the USB cable. These can be found on Amazon. I'll have a link provided in the description. And uh, the uh, I'll have a link to their Amazon store where you can see these. We're out here testing these TalkPod 8 watt GMRS radios. So, y'all just stay with us. We're going to see how they do. We're going to record us talking to each other and how clear these radios are. You can see the screen on it. It hasn't went dim yet. They do have a timeout. They go dim like that. So, he's got the black one. I got the green one. So, but both of them are 8 watts and... Uh, six mile range with just this rubber duck and uh, you can get a longer antenna and put on it maybe extend the range depending on your train it's cold today it's 33 degrees that'd be a good test of the batteries uh our gopro batteries in temperatures like this they don't last Dad, can you hear me yeah, Jared, I hear you loud and clear. You're real crisp and clear. Uh, how about me? Oh, yeah, real crisp and clear. Okay, well, I guess I'll start heading out of the woods. Like I said, I just want to do an on-the-air test of these radios and see how good they are. Hope you enjoy the one you've got. I like it. I like it real good. And like I said, it sounds amazing. Oh, yeah, and the best, like I said, the best feature about it is it can be charged with a USB-C cable anywhere where you can plug into a cigarette lighter adapter or a wall charger or like the solar generator I've got. So, all right, I'm going to head out of the woods. I'll see you in a bit. That's our test of the TalkPod. A36 Plus, A36 Plus GMRS radio that you can program, and it comes with everything you need programming cable, desk charger, USB-C cord, wall charger for the USB-C cord, uh, belt clip, and uh, I think this was a 32, 3500 amp battery. Hello everybody. Uh, one more video for y'all. Got to do a review on some radios that were sent to us. These are the Talk Pods. They are FMRS and GMRS radios and uh, they sent me and dad a couple of them uh, this is the A36 plus it says on there of course it's probably backwards the way I've got the camera done but it's the A36 plus talk pod and uh, it's a really nice radio they do have to be programmed um, but uh, I believe uh, dad knows more about them than I do but uh, we're gonna holler at dad we're gonna see if he can hear us and how clear he can hear us uh, he's videoing on his end too he's he's way back up in the woods here and uh, we're gonna try this thing out so how about you dad can you hear me Jared, I hear you loud and clear you're real crisp and clear uh, how about me Oh, yeah, real crisp and clear. Okay, well, I guess I'll start heading out of the woods. Like I said, I just want to do an on-the-air test of these radios and see how good they are. Hope you enjoy the one you've got. Well, I like it. I like it real good. And like I said, it sounds amazing. Oh, well, yeah, and the best, like I said, the best feature about it is that it can be charged with a USB-C cable anywhere where you can plug into a cigarette lighter adapter or a wall charger or like the solar generator i've got so all right i'm gonna head out of the woods i'll see you in a bit Ten four. it also has a feature where you can check the weather 34 degrees Lawrenceburg, cloudy 37 degrees in bluefield fog 34 degrees in lewisburg cloudy. 
cloudy and 37 in Pikeville, Kentucky, cloudy, 39 degrees in Bristol, Tennessee, cloudy, 45 degrees at Jackson, Kentucky. That's the NOAA weather service and they give you for the whole area so it would, i'd have to listen to it go back around uh it would get the local area eventually but there's other frequencies so if you're in your area and the frequency that was on there didn't work you can change that frequency and you'll pick it up from wherever you're located and it'll give you your local weather um it also has am fm radio um so you can hit a button and it'll turn on the radio and you can listen to the radio while you're in the woods you know if you're out here bushcrafting um and you're by yourself and you got a little shelter built and you got a fire going and you want a little bit of music while you're working on your shelter or something you turn that on am fm radio you've got a little bit of music while you're working so it's a really nice radio thank you guys for sending it to us um and uh that will go more than likely on my hunting pack. So, as we're fond of saying, see you in the woods. Video I did, but the best thing about these, me and Jerry have bow fangs. We've had bow fangs for a long time. But, they require a desktop charger. For this one here, you plug in that USB-C uh, cable, plug it into the provided wall wart, that I call it, plug it into power and it charges. You're in your truck, if you've got a USB-C cord, which most, like in my truck, I've got one for an iPhone and one that's USB-C. And I can just plug the USB-C cable into this, charge it while I'm driving, and when I get to the hunting club, up on the mountain, wherever, my radio's charged. So that's my review of the TAP Talk Pod GMRS Portal Radio, the A36 Plus 8 Watt. Appreciate you watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, I'm down in the comments. I'll try to answer. And uh, as we're fond of saying, we'll see you in the woods. Thanks for watching.